armadillos sure are a lot of trouble. We got a Texas style bench this morning here. Kind of a classic uh, looking old job. And this came in the other day. Um, it's fairly light, it's not too bad. It does need some work, it needs some refinishing obviously. And there's, there's wood cracks at the top. So we're gonna fix that first. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna fix the cracks in this lumber. And then we'll, uh, we're gonna probably have to disassemble this and change some of this hardware over, sand everything down and put a nice seal on it because it's still gonna be outside. It's gonna be up on a porch outside in front of the, uh, front of the house here. So, uh, got some work to do, but uh, what a cool looking bench. The uh, neighbors were throwing it away, so free is free is good, right? Coffee and tools. Here we go. So tackle this one. Uh, this one's probably this is the most damaged right here. Is is right in this area. So uh, normally I would just put some glue and clamp it up or something, but this one has a screw back here, so I'm kind of hoping we can still sneak the screw out, and so that way I can get lots of glue on this thing. And the screw is, okay, lucky me. Yeah, it's coming out, sort of skipping. And again, I'll probably put new screws and hardware uh, in the bench once we get it apart. There we go. Yeah, so that's, we can brush this off a little bit. This was a, a, a what they call a, a, a tenon mortar type connection. So I'm gonna be putting glue all over this, smearing it, and then clamping this up. And I have to clamp it in two places because it's, uh, broke down at the bottom and the top, but once we get this uh, glued up and clamped, it'll have to sit for a, a day before we can come back to this project. The other end is just a crack, so I'm going to use the old paper and a glue, and sort of drag it in and put a clamp on it as well to uh, glue this back up. The, the wood itself is uh, still pretty good, dried out from, you know, sitting years and years and years in the sun, but I think we can uh, glue this up and hopefully fix this bench and also I'll probably replace this uh, screw with something modern it looks like they may have even used a I'm gonna say a pretty cheap old screw but it's lasted this long so there's really you know there's really nothing wrong with that let's get some glue and see what we can do with a couple of clamps so the glue for what it's worth yeah the, the choice of glue right here <laughs> the good stuff now, see if we can get the bottle open. Let's take a little brush to that. Okay. And brush to this. You know. Okay. So we're going to put some glue on the old girl. And lots of glue. Yep, 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 yep. Lots of glue, lots of glue. Smear the glue everywhere. And see if we can't get, get this nice and clamped up. Heck, we'll even put some glue in here won't hurt at this point, this point that's for sure and just gonna make a nice hairy mess yeah all right okay so this is the piece that's going to be a bear I think yeah, yeah it fits right back in like a puzzle so okay going on clamp number one let's see if we can get this Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's looking all nice and squeezy. And that's great, but I'll tell you. Really need two gla two clamps on this job. So we're gonna come up on the bottom. The same thing, but yeah, it's fitting. And it's really coming together nice. Oh yeah. Lots of squeeze out. Yep. Not too bad. Uh, normally I don't like to smear the glue like this. I like to let it dry and then take it off with a knife or something. But in this case, I'm not going to. Oh, uh, maybe. Rag it. Yep, jeez. Glue is just hammering out everywhere. That's a good thing though. That means we've got a good glued up connection in there because she is squeezing glue out everywhere so that'll have to sit for normally you can get away with a couple of hours I like to let the glue set up for a day so this is just 
I guess you could say day one, just get this part of the chair glued back together. See if I can show it to you a little bit as to what's going on. This piece just went right back in like a piece of puzzle, so, and it's got lots of squeeze out, so, for the glue. <laughs> so that is awesome. Yep, that'll be good. And then we can even, uh, when we sand that up and do refinish, it's going to stain and the glue will probably show up a little bit. This is the back of the chair, which won't be seen anyway. So now the other end is a little different. Let's see what we got here. I put a uh, clamp on this because it's just a hair crack, hairline right now. But it's right, right up in there. So what I'm going to do is take some paper, take my old trick and just blow some glue into this crack, clamp it up good, and hopefully that'll give it years of life. So I'm going to put the glue, I'm going to pull this back and try to you know, squeeze the glue up on top and around where the crack is. There isn't a big crack on this end, not like that other end anyways. And I'm going to try to drag the glue into the crack with this paper, which is going to pull it in want as much glue down in there as we can possibly get. And let's face it, even a little bit of glue is going to make this thing work. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, you can see the glue is going down into the crack. So that's really good. Yeah, don't get glue on your fingers like me. Yeah, don't do that. There we go. Oh yeah, it's... Yeah, that glue is slowly working its way down through. So that's a good thing. And... All right, looking good. So, oh yeah, look at that squeeze out thing. So that's working good. That's exactly what I want to see. So let's get the clamp on that. And again, just put a little bit of pressure on it. Um, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, yeah, it's squeezing out all the way down. So. We've got glue squeezing out down the bottom of the crack and all the way to the top. So should have a pretty good connection there. This is gonna be this is not gonna be the prettiest bench in the world when we get done, but yeah, it'll look good. It'll look good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just sort of wipe that down a little bit with the paper towel. Yeah, this side here wasn't as bad as the other, believe it or not. I don't know what, what kind of wood this is, but I sanded a little bit on it the other day and it's got a hard and soft grain to it, so it's kind of like a hemlock or something. I'm really not sure what kind of wood they used, but uh, it's light, but it's fairly strong, so it's going to be going to be a fun project. Anyways, this is day one, just gluing up all the, uh, I guess we'll call it accidental. Okay. Now this next part. It's really a shame that this is this is really falling apart. So again, what I'm going to do is take some paper and try to drag glue right through it, and then clamp it up because. But I'm going to need a piece of paper that will go right through. So I guess we're going to have to do some tearing here. Yeah. So if we can get a good amount of glue <clears throat> through here, yeah, this is a shame. This piece right here, but it's typical. It's dried out and. It has separated, so again, the answer is either 42 or glue it. I guess we're going to glue it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the paper's right through now. So we've got the paper, so we're ready for the big part. So what I'm going to do is just lay up a good heavy amount of glue across the paper here, and then we're going to sort of draw the glue into the crack because it's pretty bad but I think we can get this yeah I'll just sort of draw all the paper along and put it up on the old paper we want a nice mess of glue in there <laughs> you see I'm sort of shoveling the glue up onto the paper and then dragging it through yeah it wouldn't hurt to get a little more over here let's see how that's doing all right <clears throat> Let's see how we're doing here. Okay. Yep. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, that's, whoop. Well, hey, it's in there. And just to make sure there's uh, lots of glue in there, I'm even gonna try to, I'm even gonna try to push some down through the crack, you know, with just the machine here like this, but yeah, that's, yeah, let that settle down for a second. Yeah, I'll line it up a little bit and even jiggle it around a little bit. Tell that glue, get down in there, get down in there. All right, and then we're gonna do the, let's see if this can work. It should be big enough. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, we do have a problem there, Houston. Oh jeez. Yep, it's uh, gonna be a little more awkward than I thought. Well, let's see. Yeah, and then we're going to I'm gonna steer this thing up so it's a little bit straighter. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, all that glue is squeeze out now. Hopefully we've got some on the bottom. Yes, we do. So we've gone right through that crack. Now I just want to make sure this thing's really lined up nice before we. Man, that's a lot of glue, huh? Yeah. Yep. That looks good, and everything is lined up, so, yep, <sighs> oh, that's a mess, that'll work though, and underneath, it's the same thing, the glue is squeezing out all over the place underneath, so, yeah, oh yeah, we definitely got glue all the way through, okay, so that's the, uh, three major cracks that we could find in the lumber here. It's all dried out. Everything looks kind of cracked, but this way, as far as actually sitting in it goes, it's, it's got good strength, but this side to side movement, you know, so there's a little bit of a wobble here and don't really like it. So uh, I think what we're going to do is add something that the bench never had. Let's see if I can set that down to show you guys what I'm going to do. You ready? <laughs> we're going to run a, a probably like a one by one or one by two off the corners off the center post right here up to the center of the seat here and one down from here to there and that'll stop this uh, movement completely and stiffen the bench up too it's uh you know yeah it's a rotten old thing but i think we can still you know we've still got some life left in this thing i wonder if it was pressure treated or something at one time because the lumber down at the bottom here on the base looks green like it was a pressure treat lumber at one time and it, it may have been but uh yeah i think it's uh still gonna be a fun bench when it gets done so i think it's pretty cool and it's like i say it's fairly light thank you for watching coffee and tools please like share and subscribe and when we come back we'll be on the on the restoration of this bench again tomorrow <laughs>